Well, I mean, he claimed that he was by Chris Stokes and everything else like that. Right. Uh, you know, the way that he responds to certain things, something traumatic has definitely happened. So. Room together. Chris Stokes put us in a room together and made us do stuff together. That's what they do. That's how they move. But I tell you right now, let somebody do that to my kid. I will blast their brains out in broad daylight. Omarion recently joined the debate on the growing number of claims that Diddy is going to be prosecuted for his alleged essay charges. In addition, Omarion is now sharing information regarding the industry's ubiquitous essay about young male artists, which includes the historic accusations against Chris Stokes made by B2K member Raz V. Simultaneously, there is a widely shared theory on the internet that Chris Stokes belongs to the Boule, a legendary Illuminati group that Diddy is also allegedly a part of. According to this theory, boys and young men are the targets of ritual essay carried out by powerful men in our society. There are even allegations that similar rituals are frequently observed in the music industry. Omarion seems to know very little, though, about these purported rights. Did Chris Stokes and Diddy really mistreat B2K members? Let's analyze it. After that, we were able to get him in a better place, you know, uh, where he felt comfortable. With Omarion's choice to come forward about the torture that B2K members are alleged to have endured at the hands of Diddy and Chris Stokes, the never-ending tale of Diddy being a real-life freaking devil appears to have taken an unsettling turn. If you don't already know, Chris Stokes was the driving force behind the Ultimate Group record label which signed well-known artists, including Marcus Houston, Omarion, B2K, and Jenny Aiko. In the past, he worked as a record executive. In order to set the scene, let's travel back to 2007. DeMario Raz B. Thornton, a B2K member and Chris's cousin, shockingly said that he was essayed by Marcus Houston and Chris while he was just 11 or 12 years old. According to Raz B., the alleged article was prepared during Chris's tenure as B2K's manager. In addition, Raj shared a video of a very unsettling conversation with his former label mate Quindon Tarver, during which they revealed graphic horror stories about the alleged essay authored by Chris Stokes and Marcus Houston. Quindon related an instance that he found extremely upsetting, in which Marcus Houston allegedly essayed him while Chris Stokes stayed on the bed and witnessed the assault. Quindon says that before Roz, this horrifying attack took place in Chris's bedroom. Are you talking about that wooden bed Chris had, that real high wooden bed? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I know about that bed. Hey, on the side of that bed, on the left of it, was that little was it that little glass jar with the change in it and the little like futon? Was there a little? How do you know, how do you know about that? Cause you were younger than me. Huh? How do you know about that? I said, how do you know about that? You were younger than me, so how do you know? Quentin, I'm trying to tell you, I walked through the same thing that you walked through. That first time that Marcus ever put his in my b was in that it was in that room too. But Rosby didn't end there. He went on to make another alarming accusation, claiming that Marcus Houston and Chris Stokes had S. A. D. him in Las Vegas. That happened like, I believe that happened like twice, like once there and then like one time like, like in Vegas, it was like me, Marcus and, and Chris. Quindon was initially worried that Chris would make public their conversation, but he eventually opened out in an interview, stating that all of these horrible things really did happen to him as a child star. To further the situation, Quindon shared his story with his management team, expecting an understanding and sympathetic response. But instead, he received a very hurtful one. According to Quindon, 
I told one person I thought I could trust and confide in when that happened. This person came back at that point and spoke with my management, and I immediately realized how far away they were. They wouldn't answer the phone when I got to Los Angeles. Quinden revealed that as soon as he expressed his reservations about the essay, all of his promising future disappeared, and he started abusing drugs. I had to go back home because someone hurt me, Quinden stated. I didn't know how to respond to that. I didn't know how to respond to that. Man, when I started drinking and doing drugs, I lost everything. I lost my mind. Even more tragically, Quinden passed away at the age of 38 without ever being given a fair trial. On April 1, 2021, Quinden lost his life in a car accident in Dallas, Texas. The police said the driver lost control for an unknown reason, striking the railing, a turnpike, and the center concrete barrier. Despite efforts by medical professionals to save his life, Quinden succumbed to severe injuries and died at a nearby hospital. Chris Stokes and Marcus Houston both refuted the allegations made by Rasby and Quinden. Marcus went to the extent of requesting a restraining order against Roz, claiming that the accusations caused him serious distress. Furthermore, in a statement, Chris Stokes denied Rasby's assertions and said, all of the allegations they made are false. I'm married, have four kids, and I don't identify as gay. In our 16 years of marriage, my wife and I have never engaged in child molestation. That means that none of the charges are true. I should file a lawsuit on behalf of my spouse and kids. Of course. It's nonsensical. However, Chris never brought legal action against Rasby, any more than he had brought legal action against Cassie or anybody else who had accused him of being ASA. Now, to make things even more complicated, Raz V's bandmate Omarion first defended Chris Stokes and even charged Raz of lying. However, a few years later, Omarion made the shocking admission that Raz V had indeed suffered trauma. Omarion utilized his platform to defend Chris Stokes when the allegations first surfaced in 2007, claiming he was a mentor and an inspiration to all the guys he trained. Omarion said, I want to go on record as saying that Ricardo and Raspy Thornton are lying about Chris Stokes. Chris is like a father figure to me and many other professionals in the field. He has raised and mentored us, and he is nothing more than an inspiration to me. I also admire and look up to him. Furthermore, Omarion said that he had never saw Chris behave negatively and accused Roz B of damaging Chris's reputation. But when 2019 rolled around, Omarion's perspective on Raz's charges changed. In an interview with Vlad TV, Omarion said that as Raz B grew up and became an adult, he understood that he had gone through a terrible ordeal. Rather than accusing Raz B of lying or going so far as to defend Chris Stokes, Omarion just said that he wasn't the right person to cast the blame. In reference to the connection between Diddy and Chris Stokes, it has been said that after Raz B's allegations, Diddy attempted to break things off with Chris. However, there have been long-running speculations suggesting Diddy might be withholding information regarding the B2K brothers. In 2002, Diddy collaborated with B2K on the popular single Bump Bump Bump. The song was written and produced by R. Kelly. Many fans are now giving this duet another listen because of the suggestive tone of the song Bump 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 and the fact that B2K was just teenagers and Diddy was in his 30s when the song was recorded. With the additional knowledge we have about Diddy, the entire tone of the cooperation shifts. The fact that the song was written by R. Kelly adds even more spookiness. But that's not all. People on the internet are now claiming that Diddy and Chris Stokes are part of the Boulet, a covert organization where young men are often photographed with their hands and faces. Furthermore, authorities have been informed by Jonathan Odie, a former S worker, that Diddy is a member of the Boulet and that he held him as a slave. Odie stated that he had freak-offs with Cassie and Diddy. Yes, that's exactly what I'd like to know. It seems that there is more to this rabbit hole than most of us could have thought, as you can see. Fans are claiming that fire always appears where there is smoke in reference to the allegations that Chris Stokes and Diddy abused members of B2K. Even though it's obvious that his acts are upsetting due of the terrible abuse he endured, Someone frequently made fun of B2K by saying, damn B2K, B-Key, was surrounded by creepy dudes.
them poor boys between Diddy R.R. Kelly and Chris Stokes. My honest wish is that he finds solace and recovery. But what do you think about Chris Stokes and Diddy's purported relationship? And do you think that either of them truly did something about Chris Stokes and Diddy's alleged relationship? And do you think that you were harmed by either of them? Thanks for watching our video. Don't forget to like and comments. Also subscribe our channel for more videos.